I'm going to show you how to run Crossover Chromium and how to get it to run Windows apps. Now first you're going to want to download it and copy it to your desktop. You're also going to run a download Explore XP. Both of these links will be in the description. It's almost done. Okay, once that's done, you're going to right click Show Package Contents and maximize the Go Contents. Uh, scroll down to Shared Support. Go into CX Chromium. Down to Support. Chromium. Drive C. And then in there, you're going to want to place your Explorer XP. Then, you're going to want to show the package contents again. You're going to go in Contents, double click on the Info.p list. Now down the bottom, you're going to, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom. It should say Bottle Default Chromium. Chrome.exe. Now that is the Google Chrome web, web, web browser. So you're going to want to change that to Explorer XP Setup.exe. And you want to save that. Minimize it. Minimize all this junk. Then double click on the application. Go open. Now this should be the first time you run it, so you're perform performing first time initialization. Then once this is finished, it should pop up with the Explorer XP installer. May take a while. And when it's done, just go agree next. Install. Close. Now it should quit. It will crash. Yep. Now you're going to want to go back to the contents, back to Drive C, then go into your user, then go to library, application support, crossover chromium, bottles, then go to Drive C program files and it should be explorer xp in there See? then you're going to want to copy that into the drive c part of the package contents here copy that into that program files Up there then you're going to want to go back to the plist and change it to explorer xp and there you want to change it to program program file slash explorer xp dot exe because that is in here explorer xp explorer xp dot exe oh wait whoops XP slash. So in the end, you should have program files slash explore XP slash explore XP dot exe. Yep. Okay. Now you want to save that. Minimize it. Minimize it. Minimize that. Now go Chromium. Just wait. As you can see down the bottom, it's got the little initializing thing. Now once that's done, it may take a while to load, but Explore XP, sh XP should pop up there.
Now you want to go Drive C, which that's this Drive C that's in the uh, application support, and it'll have program files and stuff. Or you could go my computer, go volumes, oops, wrong, go users, then on my desktop, I have portable Counter Strike. Sometimes that doesn't really work going into computer my computer files. So what you might want to do is quick cross over Chromium, go back into Drive C, one, go into the library again, application support, cross over Chromium, bottles, Drive C. Now what I find is have the application quit to do this and then just copy any uh, Windows installation file that you want to run. You just stick it in program files or just there anyway. You just stick it in and then it should and then when you've got crossover Chromium running you just double click on it, just install it, it'll run. Now I've run MAME, Mugen, Portable Counter Strike, set Counter Strike Source full. That doesn't do just games, I've also done Microsoft Office. Uh, XP and 07. So I hope you found that tutorial interesting and please